Hi there, welcome to Living Light Channel, where we use God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost as our guide, or the Holy Spirit, however it resonates for you. I'm not here to argue with anybody about anything, about what's right and what's wrong. I know what's right, and I know what's wrong. Love is right, and hate is wrong, and that's where I stand. And yes, we were all born sinners. But isn't that why Jesus was sent to us? And isn't that why he died for us? He died for all our sins so that we wouldn't suffer anymore. But we've been kept in the dark ages as if we're still sinners, you know, we're just born out of sin. Well, why would they take the Bible out of schools? And why would they take the scriptures and contort them to fit their narrative? Well, because they want to keep control. They still want to keep control. I've been reading 1 John chapter 4, and it was trying the spirits. And when Jesus gave his life for us, his blood also hit the ground, which mingled with the soil. And God created man from dirt. He picked up some dirt and breathed life into it, which created Adam. He had a thought in his mind of what he wanted, and it appeared. And God is inside of us, and Jesus is inside of us, and Jesus walks with us daily. There's no coming of Christ, because Christ is within every single one of us. We just have to accept it and believe in it and it will come to pass that Jesus will walk with you. He will guide you every step of the way. I realize that not everybody believes in God and not everybody believes in Jesus and that's their choice. We all have a choice. We choose what we want to see, we choose what we want to hear, and it says right in the Bible that the ones speaking of God will hear the message, and the ones that don't hear the message of God are going to create some sort of, um, they're going to create a storyline that fits their narrative, and that's been, you know, our life's experience for well all of my lifetime I don't know about your lifetime and the lifetimes before but once people put a label on you and they round up more people that don't believe in God or don't believe in Jesus the more adversity you're going to face so just know that your messages are being heard by the right people and that you know you're a teacher and when you speak people listen so remember that what you speak must come from the guidance from God so read your Bible when you read your Bible then you gain the knowledge and the understanding so that you can send the message so that other people can understand it yes the Bible is written in a way in the ways of old you know to be more empowered, to be more scriptured, you know, the way that our language has been um, diversified and split apart has made it harder and harder for people to understand the scriptures written in the Bible, given to by God, to his messengers, to his his scribes to his prophets to his son people have taken the word of god and you know what's the word concocted i guess would be a good word concocted a narrative of things that are coming in the Bible, it talks many times about the house. You know, prepare your house, prepare, prepare your house. Your house is you. You are the house where God lives. You are the house where Jesus resides. So when they say to prepare your house, it means repent of all your sins. 
go to Jesus. Once you do this, you are forgiven. That is it. It's not brought up again. It's not held against you. The only people holding things against you are people that want to see you fall. That's period. It's truth. And once you let them steal your power, inch by inch, day by day, they start stealing your worthiness. They start stealing your reasons for living. You're left out in the cold, you know, where you're hearing crickets or, you know, people are getting to the point where they're even afraid to stand up and fight for God, for fight for God's children, for to fight for your own brothers and sisters. If you're living in the spirit of fear of what other people think, then that is a that is something only you and God can deal with and fight for. You need to come to a realization that <clears throat> people outside of you cannot control you. Only you can control you. Don't give your power away anymore, please. God and Jesus have been saying, you know, we're here, we're here, we're within you. It's written, I don't know how many times throughout the Bible that God is within, Jesus is within you. So if people are telling you that Jesus is not within you, then they're false prophets. They are saying that Jesus isn't here. Jesus is here. He is in our blood. He is in our veins. He walks with us. And when you have the Spirit of God and the teachings of Jesus guiding you every day, who can be wrong? Is God wrong? Is Jesus wrong? Do your research. Gain the knowledge. Read the Bible. It says it right in there. And why aren't these pastors, preachers, teachers telling us that? Why are they saying, you know, this, you know, when, when Jesus is coming, Jesus is here already and he is working through many of God's chosen children, God's chosen anointed. God chooses people not because of how they look, not because of what they wear, not because of their accolades or the, the schooling that they've received. God chooses people by their heart by the pureness of their heart, how much you love, how much you spread love, how much you want the best for everybody. If people can't handle that, that doesn't have any effect on your abilities. That lies with them and everybody has their own timing when to wake up and realize, okay, God is within me, Jesus is within me and I can do this. That's up to the individual. Nobody can force you to go to God and nobody can force you to accept Jesus into your heart. It's that simple. I'm not here to, to brow bash anybody. I'm just doing what I'm guided to do. And when I put up that video about quitting and not posting any more videos, I gave my power away to the devil. So the devil was winning and everybody was cheering. Yay, we got rid of that bitch. Oh well, guess what? God and Jesus brought me back to life and gave me the words to speak so that I can do God's work. Nobody's gonna take me off my path. I've been doing this a long time. I may stumble, I may fall, but God and Jesus will lift me back up and get me back on the podium and keep spreading the messages that God and Jesus are within us all. So everybody, everybody from every walk of life, if you're dealing with something that you've done in the past, just go to Jesus, accept him into your heart and start telling him in secret what you've done. You don't have to come out and publicly tell people what you've done. I did it because I didn't want anybody coming back to me later on 10, 15, 20, 35 years from now saying, oh, she did this because everybody knows 
people's faults make money and they will capitalize on any secrets that you're hiding. So I chose by the guidance of God to admit all my sins, all the things that I've done from in this life, in past lives, the memories that I remember because I don't want it coming back to me. I don't want I don't want God's word and my word to be misconstrued or twisted or used in a way for others to make money off the word of God because it says also in the Bible that you're not supposed to be using his scriptures and making money off of it. People have free will. You can donate. It's okay. But if somebody's constantly berating you to tithe here, or tithe there, or donate here, or donate there, that's not how God works. God works through the heart and your spirit. If people are touched in their own spirit to give, that is okay. God doesn't have a problem with it. God knows how the spirit and the heart and love works. If we're using words to make people feel sad or feel sorry for us or this or that, and we're asking for tithing or, or donations and stuff, God doesn't look upon you as at, at that as a good thing. So this is why I chose not to have my channel monetized. And many other people don't have their channels monetized because we all believe in the Word of God and we want to make sure we're doing it right because we don't want to lead anybody else down a path of destruction. God is a righteous God and loves you dearly. He watches over his children all the time and he sees when we fall and he sees when we're struggling and he reaches out for to us from the heavens down to our heart to our soul to lift us back up to say you know what it's okay child I've got you don't worry just let me love you like you want to be loved instead of seeking outside yourself for the love, right? God loves you already, just as you are, right where you are. So you don't have to seek outside yourself for that love anymore. When you believe in God and Jesus, and you let them into your heart, your heart grows and swells, and your light is felt all over the world because you're part of this earth. And Earth is a living, breathing thing. Species, Mother, Gaia, all the animals, the birds, the trees, the leaves, the grass, everything, the bees. We can communicate with nature. It's not so much a talking, it's an energy. And I believe everybody is waking up at their own timing. And I know I stumble on my words and that's okay God keeps guiding me this isn't uh, written out this is just a free-flowing and I know I can do nothing without God so I thank God every day every day he gets me up out of this bed and releases the chains that the devil is trying to place on me to keep me down he is breaking me free again, and I will keep rising up. And that's what Jesus did, because they put him to death, and he rose on the third day, because God refilled his soul with love and gave him the power he needed, which was God's power, God's love, source, energy. We are all come from source energy which is God. God is the creator. God is the creator. And he lives inside you. And Jesus is inside you. His blood runs through your veins. God bless you guys. Get your Bible out. If you don't believe anything I say, get your Bible out and start doing the searching. Right? Don't come to me. Go to God. God bless you guys. I love you. Take care.